I welcome you all to another episode of QFix Weekly Show. My name is Edwin Austin. By calling me QFix, you still get to have my undivided attention. One can be consistent in doing a number of things. You can be consistent in uh, watching every season of the Money Haste when it drops. I mean, you can also be consistent in dropping a fire album. And yet the consistency we are talking about today is not of the good kind. Bolt, the taxi online application, not the fastest man alive, has been making headlines over the past few weeks for all the wrong reasons. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not the kind of consistency we expect from Bolt or any other 21st century company for that matter. Last week, we made a report about a lady who was allegedly attacked by a Bolt male driver and uh, went ahead to receive a promo code from Bolt as Remedy. And this only came after Kenyans on Twitter called out Bolt, the company. If what it takes to get a free promo code on Bolt is to suffer an onslaught, well, to hell with it. I'll walk. More to that, Bolt also introduced a new service for its riders, which they called Women's Only rights. By doing this, they not only assured safety for their women, but the cost incurred for this particular ride meant that the women will be paying more simply to be safe, you know? And if you ask me to be honest, this is like what? Applying a bandage to a bullet hole? I mean, with time the wound will still leak, you know? This is something way deeper than a mere promo code for a remedy. Now, earlier this week, Bolt was involved in a similar occurrence, only this time round the tables were turned. A male driver was attacked by female passengers. This happened after the driver picked up these ladies and then they started kissing at the back seat. Yeah, I said kissing, that is what they were doing at the back seat. So the driver went ahead to request these ladies to observe some sort of decency in his car. But the moment he said that, then the lady started hurling insults at the driver, which later forced the ladies to get out of the car. And the very second they got out, they started hurling stones at the car. One minute, they were kissing at the back of the car. The second minute, they were throwing stones at this car. This only goes to show you how fast the mood of this gender can change. <laughs> The account of this driver, who, by the way, is called Kevin, was suspended. And he stated explicitly that he will not be filing any charges against these women. Now, I am not even going to get into the whole conversation of uh, what would have happened if, for some reason, the driver was a woman and the passengers who attacked him were men. I am not going to dwell into that because for some reason I believe if I start that I might lose it and go out on a rant that could last an hour or more. What I'm trying to say here is that Bolt deciding to suspend the driver's license was not only uncalled for but totally beyond the pale. This is like having two kids, one being bullied and then you go ahead and uh, suspend the one that was bullied, you know? In what stretch of the imagination did you base your argument when carrying out that decision. One is being bullied and you suspend the one that was being bullied? Okay. I almost went, started on that rant, but the thing is, the male driver lost a job when he was the one that was attacked. On the part of the Bolt as the company, all I can say with their regard is this. The former president of the United States, Donald Trump, wrote in his book that uh, good publicity is preferable to bad, but from a bottom line perspective, bad publicity is better than no publicity at all. Controversy, in short, sells. Thank you very much. Apple 13, I am talking about the phone, not the ugly shapes we were drawing in elementary school when trying to determine what seven plus six is. <laughs> Tim Cook, 
the CEO of Apple on Tuesday announced the new Apple 13 and its uh, specifications. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, I must say that for a live event that was watched by over 2 million people across the world, the, then this just goes to show how influential this uh, company actually is. Since the release of Apple 11, it is believed that uh, the differences between all the phones that have come after it is actually in their similarities. But uh, <laughs> predictably, Tim Cook assured us that uh, the new Apple 13 is the best iPhone ever released. And ladies and gentlemen, who are we, mere users of all the versions of the iPhone, to judge? The phone will be available for pre-order starting on the 17th of September before going on sale starting from the 24th of September this year. In all honesty, people do not buy iPhones because of their specifications. No one is going for an iPhone simply because it has 500 GB storage or 1 TB for that matter. With iPhones, the bottom line is people buy the brand. The Met Gala, it is an event hosted by the fashion industry, similar to the Oscars, whereby models, designers and celebrities get to showcase what they are wearing and who they are wearing. By that I mean the people behind the whole outfit. It is simply an event whereby you come to show off what you are wearing and in return you get a massive media coverage through it. I can tell you for sure that it's a wonderful feeling. I mean, I have been there once. <laughs> It's a good experience, believe me. The main aim of the Met Gala is to actually raise funds for the Costume Institute, which is a curatorial department that actually funds itself. This is done through the tickets and table pricing for anyone, of course, who wishes to attend. Although a point to note is that not all celebrities that actually attend pay. Some are simply given a free pass because they will be wearing an outfit that is done by a designer who is already part of the Met Gala. It is believed that a ticket for the Met Gala goes for approximately 30,000 US dollars. That is what? Roughly 3 million Kenya shillings. You give that kind of money to Molamwa and uh, he could buy what? 10 acres in Kitale? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you were shocked by the price of the tickets, well then, prepare to be floored by the price of the tables. Are you ready? No? Let's give them a second or two. You must be ready now. The price of a table at the Met Gala is 275,000 US dollars. That is about 28 million Kenya shillings. With that amount, Molamo could buy a whole village in Kitara. <laughs> the theme for this year's Met Gala was American fashion. And uh, believe me when I tell you, the attendees did not disappoint. Obviously, the highlight was uh, none other than these two individuals who are believed to be Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. Kim later on went to say that she decided to dress in all black simply because over the years her body has been sexualized and her wearing this during this Met Gala event only lends legitimacy to the fact that despite what one wears, well, people will still criticize you, you know? But I'm guessing what the Kardashian failed to mention was that uh, one would rather wear all black and risk looking like Lord Voldemort than wear nothing at all. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of today's episode. It has been a joy, a delight to be precise having you here today. My name is Edwin Austin. This has been QFIX Weekly Show. Until we meet next time, all that is left to say is muchas gracias.